Harry's cheating fears, she betrayed him. Meghan allegedly had an affair with founder of Spotify. Princess Penelope on Twitter shares some tea about Meghan's affair. In her post, she said Meghan Markle is reportedly spending a lot of time in LA. Why would Spotify spoil her with this diva treatment when she's a rubbish podcast host? Maybe a clue. Penelope posted a picture of Meghan with a mysterious man. She explained, he's the co-founder of Spotify and he's worth $3.7 billion. We know she likes Italians and billionaires, plus he's single. Hashtag Megan's affair. So she's allegedly entangled with one of two co-founders of Spotify. The post said the man is Italian, but the picture is alleged of a Swede, Martin Lorenzen. Megan reportedly cheated on Trevor with Patrick J. Adams. Samantha repeated a rumor about Megan becoming involved with one of her Suits co-stars during the marriage to Trevor Engelson. We heard through the grapevine that Meg was involved with someone on the show. I was in shock because I thought they had a marriage that defied all odds in Hollywood, Samantha wrote. Also, she cheated on her ex-boyfriend Corey with Harry. Meghan Markle was still living with her chef, then boyfriend Corey Vitellio, when she went on her first date with Prince Harry. Tom Bauer writes that Meghan's two-year romance with Vitiello, a Toronto-based chef, was in its last throes when she met Harry. They still shared a home together. The book also claims that two weeks after their first date on July the 1st, 2016, Harry secretly flew to Toronto. He stayed for about one week in the house of a friend of Meghan's, probably Jessica Mulroney, with Corey still sharing Meghan's home. The situation for Meghan was tricky, but manageable. At the end of the week, after he returned to London, Meghan was convinced that her spell was cast and the relationship with Harry would be sealed. She told Corey that their affair was over. Bauer writes, according to the book, Vitiello was relieved. The final months had been unpleasant. It's not the first time Meghan's affair has been brought to light. Samantha Markle claimed in a book that Meghan was dating chef Corey Vitiello at the same time she started seeing Prince Harry. Samantha wrote, What confused me was that if Meghan and Harry had been dating for six months, she would have been dating Harry at the same time she was dating the restaurateur, who seemed like a good fit. She continued, I imagine that Corey will be devastated by being dumped for a prince, or was she dating them both simultaneously? I was sure it could be uncomfortable for either of them. Therefore, will she cheat on Harry? Who knows? According to Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, Meghan then an actress on the USA network drama Suits, in 2016 put into action a plan to befriend a group of well-connected Brits. Among them were Harry's childhood friends, Violet von Westenhoff, who was working as a publicist for Ralph Lauren. Meghan had been hired to wear the designer's clothing during the Wimbledon tennis tournament in the summer of 2016. In a conversation with Westonhof at Wimbledon, author Tom Bauer writes, Meghan persuaded sensitive soul von Westonhof to set her up on a blind date with the prince. Her problems were familiar to an all unknown unmarried actors in the mid thirties. Fear of loneliness and personal financial insecurity, Bauer writes. Unsurprisingly, Meghan was preoccupied by her own financial security and finding a husband. Before agreeing to the setup, the book claims, Westonhof sent Harry photos of the dark haired actress Von Vesselhoff's father, Pierre, is an interior decorator and antique dealer and an old chum of Prince Charles's wife, Camilla. During the weekend visits to the Vesselhoff's Hertfordshire country estate and during family holidays, Prince Harry and William played with Violet as children.